Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny. Today I'll show you how to make very delicious Italian parm sandwich. So stay tuned and make sure to watch the video to the end and enjoy. Mm. Italian chicken parmesan, also known as chicken parm, was originated in the United States from Italian immigrants and became popular in restaurants from 1950s. Most of the time you serve chicken parmesan with pasta, but today I decided to show it to you as a sandwich. First of all I will make tomato sauce, marinara sauce from the scratch. Take one medium onion, roughly chop it, get 4-5 garlic cloves and smash them with a knife. Take a saucepan, pour some olive oil and saute onion and garlic on a medium heat for about 4 to 5 minutes or until it's translucent. Make sure to pour good amount of olive oil. Add 28 ounces of San Marzano tomatoes. Get a potato musher and smash it. Add couple strings of fresh basil, fresh oregano and make sure to remove leaves from stems. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure to smack that notify me button to get notified about my new and delicious videos. Season it with salt and freshly ground black pepper. Mix it and let it simmer on a low heat for 30 minutes. You don't need to add no water or stock, just keep it as is. And in this case the simplicity is a key. Now let's make garlic infused butter for my Italian hero. Take one garlic loaf and puree it. Transfer it into the bowl. Take one fourth of a bunch of parsley, remove leaves from stems and chop it fine as well. Transfer it into the same bowl with garlic. Pour 2 tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. Season it with some salt and black pepper. Mix it and put it aside. Take fresh mozzarella cheese and slice it. Grate 1 cup of parmesan cheese, and put it aside. Take 2 chicken breasts, I got one full chicken breast and another one is a half. I don't know what happened to the butcher, maybe he was on a budget. Slice the chicken breast in the middle. Cover it with a plastic wrap. And pound it with a flat side of a meat tenderizer from both sides.
cut the chicken breast in half because these pieces are too big for the sandwich. And now let's bread the chicken breast. Set up the breading station. One plate with one cup of flour. Make sure to season it with salt and black pepper. Obviously you need to mix it. Into the second plate, crack for eggs. And mix it with a fork. And into the third one, add 2 cups of seasoned panko breadcrumbs. You can use regular breadcrumbs, but for this recipe I prefer to use panko, because it will make chicken parm more crispy. Bread the chicken, flour, egg, breadcrumbs. Half an hour passed, my tomato sauce is done, blend it with a hand blender, adjust the seasoning if necessary, mix it and put it aside. Take a pan with oil, preheat it to 340-350 degrees Fahrenheit and fry the chicken. Make sure not to overcrowd the pan and fry it by batches. Fry the chicken breast approximately for 2 minutes until golden brown in color. My chicken is fried. And now let's assemble it. Take a sheet pan, pour some tomato sauce on the sheet pan first. Put chicken. Pour some more tomato sauce on top of the chicken. Lay down some mozzarella cheese. And top it with parmesan cheese. Place it into preheated 375 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, let's prep the bread. I got two Italian hero bread. With a serrated knife, cut it in half, open it. and brush it with the butter garlic mixture.
and lightly toast the bread while the chicken parm is in the oven. Remove chicken parm from the oven and just take a look how beautiful it looks like. Chicken is perfectly cooked and the cheese is fully melted. Transfer this chicken parm into the bread and close it. And close it. Secure with the toothpicks. Secure it with a toothpick and cut it in half. Just take a look at these layers. My chicken parmesan sandwich is ready. Enjoy!